What's up guys, King Bimo TV here, going to do another Outlaws of Thunder Junction draft. Alchemy's over, let's get back to the regular stuff. Take a second, like and subscribe, really appreciate it. Okay, Terror of the Peaks, great card. Five mana, five, four flyer. Spells your opponent's cast that target Terror of the Peak cost an additional three life to cast. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Terror of the Peak deals damage equal to the power's target to any target. Uh, really, really good. I really don't like red in this format, I think. Mm, I don't like red, black. I don't like red, white. Blue, red, I had success in alchemy, but not in like regular format. So um, I'm still taking it, right? It would be insane not to take this card. It's really good. I wish it had, uh, I mean, obviously Terror, Terror of the Peaks is a reprint. Maybe that's not obvious to you guys, but it is a reprint. I think if they made this card for Allos of Thunder Junction, it would have like um, it would have a plot cost, right? So you could put it in and then immediately play a creature to like to sh to to ping something. Um, but it's a reprint, so it doesn't have that. But we're gonna take it. Let's see how red we are. Uh, all right, next pack we have Wolverine Salvo. Train Arnix is really good. Miner's good. Robber's okay. Desperate Bloodseeker is good. Um, I don't know. So, like, Terror of the Peaks is really good, right? If you just play it as a 5-4 flyer for 5, it's really good, right? For red-white aggro, it'll be like a curve topper. We'll have nothing else in our hand. So, that's kind of the reason I don't really want to take Trained Arnix here. Trained Arnix? Yeah, Arnix. So, I'm between Wolverine and Salvo, to be honest. And if I had any success with Black Red in this format, I might consider one of these two. But I'm going to take the Salvo here, I think. I'm not thrilled about it, but... Wow, Assimilation Aegis. No one took that? Uh, I could take Re I took, could take Krom. Krom's really good. Vile Smasher's really good, too, but I hate Red Black. Could take Prickly Pear. This card's really good. How did no one not take this? This is pack three, too. It's going to be pack four because I'm not taking it either. Uh, Prickly Pear is good with Terror of the Peaks, right? It'll trigger twice. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to take Crumb. I'll just take Prickly Pear here for now. I guess this is safer. Could could have went a few different ways so far with this. Visage Bandit's okay. Imagine playing Visage Bandit, plotting it, and then playing Terror of the Peaks. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Commando's good. Stubborn Burrow Fiend's good. And I just passed the crumb too, right? Peddler's okay. I'm going to take Visage Bandit. Try to live the dream. Uh, Nimble Brigand's good. Coyote's good. Another Salvo wouldn't be bad either. God, I, I hate that we're just going to... We just passed the blue-red signpost. Now we're going to take some blue and red cards. Uh, Brigand or Coyote? Coyote's really good. Uh, what do we got now? Explosive Derailment, pick six. That's nice. So red is open. Uh, take up the shield, super good too. Backwoods would be fine, but we'll take Explosive Derailment here. Maybe we'll just be mono-red. Thunder Salvo's good. Paladin's really nice as well. But we'll stay in red. Uh, maybe we'll just be mono red. That would be a lot of fun, right? Mono red. We'll see. Okay, another good pack for us: a coyote, a second coyote, or a second derailment. I'm gonna take a second coyote here. I like coyote is a, a lot. It's really nice in an aggro deck. It's also like good in a spells deck. You know, giving one of your creatures plus one plus one in haste for like zero is pretty scary. You know, I, I keep. Comparing everything to Terror of the Peaks, I'll probably never draw it. But if we plot Coyote and then we have Terror of the Peaks as a 6-5 haste, pretty good. Uh, I haven't played Caught in the Crossfire at all. I think it's a sideboard card. And this is best of one, so we're not going to play it. Uh, do we take Failed Fording or Rodeo Pyromancers? Um, I've never cast Rodeo Pyromancers. I... It was a card that really intrigued me when the set came out, but I just like never, 
I think if it was if blue red was better in this format, I think this card would would have been a little more popular. But uh, I'm gonna take take the fall here. I'm still gonna try to be as red as possible. Skullduggery or seize the secrets? I guess it sees the secrets, right? I may not even play that. I'm gonna take skullduggery. Just in case I get like a, if I get a Rakdos pack too, right? We're not blue anymore. <laughs> We're just black. So uh, I'm not going to play either, either of these. 13 pick Thunder, Thunder Salvo is great. We have three Thunder, Thunder Salvos already. Um, so we could be the only red drafter. Probably not, but it's a possibility. All right, we have some good ones in here. Uh, we have This Town Ain't Big Enough, which is amazing. Prickly Pear. And then Scale Storm Summoner. I think it's Scale Storm. Uh, summoner three mana three three whenever it attacks if you control a creature power four or greater you make a three one dino uh, We only have one creature right now with power four or greater. It's definitely more of a red green card versus a red blue card But I think it is the best card in the pack for us Although this town ain't big enough is definitely close. I Could just take this town ain't big enough and try to table one of these two That's pretty greedy. And I may not even end up being blue. But I kind of kind of want to do that. Because this sand ain't big enough is really good. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get greedy. I'm going to try to table one of these. People have not been very red. So Lone Shark or Prickly Pear. We'll take Prickly Pear. We're off to a really nice start. Uh, we'll take the Roadrunner here. Derailment wouldn't be that bad, but we'll take the Roadrunner. Um, because we do have three Thunder Salvos and an Exposed Derailment already, so we're not really hurting for another one of those. Uh, nothing great here. I could take the Phantom Interference. I'm kind of leaning towards that. Although this card's pretty good. We have to somehow be able to play green, though. Um, essentially, you just draw an extra card every turn. And it has Ward 1, which makes it a little bit harder to cast. Mm, I, that, there's no way that's going to table, because that's some good gems. Probably won't be able to be uh, mono red, right? So I guess we'll take Phantom Interference here, opposed to Lackey. Slick Sequence is perfect. That's exactly what we want for our deck. Hopefully we can get uh, a Krom, but I'm not going to hold my breath. I do wish I took the Krom over the Visage Bandit at this point. But <sighs> Wow, it's really it's really there for us. Uh, another Roadrunner, a Slick Sequence, or Hell to Pay. Uh, I think it's Hell to Pay. We have a lot of Explosive Derailment does four. Thunder Salvo does two or three. Uh, slick sequence is two, so we can't really even kill a five-five right now. So it'd be nice if we can do that somehow. So it also helps us be able to splash because it makes treasures. Um, so if we do happen to table that little fox guy, then maybe we'll we'll do that. Uh, really late intimidation campaign. This is a card I like first pick. It's so good. I'm gonna. No, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna cut it, but. There's no real cutting in this format, right? So I guess we'll take Rope Master, keep people out of blue. I'll just take the gems. Uh, Quill Charger's okay. Archway's fine. I'll take Archway here. Because Quill Charger's not amazing. And Archway's pretty nice. Uh, we don't have any deserts, but it's still, still pretty okay. Take the Fall or Prickly Pear. We did table the Prickly Pear, so... Was that the right choice? I think so, because if I took the summoner, I don't think I'd get any cards in this pack. So I took Prickly Pear and This Town Ain't Big Enough versus the sale, a Scale Storm Summoner. So I think I made the right choice. We have three Prickly Pears so far. Uh, I don't think we'll play any of these. How's our curve looking? Yeah, we have plenty of twos. I don't think we need Razzle Dazzler, but I'll take it just in case. Maybe we'll be like really like blue red aggro. Like, our curve will be super duper low. I mean, it looks like we're kind of close to that. I still don't think Brimstone Roundup's good. I've never seen anybody. I think I've seen somebody cast this card, like, once. Very early on in the format. But I don't remember it being very, uh, very good. Uh, 
And last pick, Gigapede. All right, Duelist of the Mind. This is not a card I've cast at all. Uh, I'll be pretty excited to cast it. And what is this? Outlaws Merriment, four mana, enchantment. Beginning of the upkeep, choose one at random. Create a red and white creature with these characteristics. 3-1 Trample Haste, 2-1 Lifelink Haste, 1-2 when this creature enters battlefields with 1 damage to any target. What a fun card. I like this card a lot. I've never seen it before. God, I've done like probably 25 drafts in this format, multiple seals, maybe 6-7 seals, and I have never seen this card. Um, yeah, I think it's Duelist of the Mine. I'll be pretty excited to do it. I don't know how much crimes we're committing. I guess we have a lot of burn spells, so... Uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. It also kind of fits into our blue-red aggro theme here, too. Uh, wow, this pack's pretty good for green, right? Rattleworm and Spinewoods Armadillo, but not us and not us. So I think I'll take the pylons here. I don't think we want a fourth Thunder Salvo. And these aren't amazing, so uh, pylons. Okay, we have a Hellspore Boot and a Take the Fall. I think it's probably the Brute. Our curve looks pretty nice right now, pretty heavy on the twos, but we have three Prickly Pairs, which seems like a lot, but it's our only three drop, so I guess Bandit's probably a three drop. But we'll take Brute. Uh, I think Brute could kind of be a four drop, maybe even cheaper, right? Because we have, what do we have? Peddler's a rogue, that's an assassin. Uh, and then Prickly Pear makes two. So yeah, I think Brute, Brute's pretty good with Terror of the Peaks too. Deck's coming along. Woo, look at that. Four mana, two, four, give all your outlaws haste. Love it. Uh, perfect. That's a four drop too. So now we have our first four drop. And uh, really good with Hellspore Brute. So nice back-to-back uh, -back picks there. I am passing a Repulse, which is, like, the best card ever. Ooh, this card's really nice. Tai Joaquin, really nice card. Um, but, wow, look at this pack. Marauding Sphinx is a bomb, so we'll take Marauding Sphinx. We're not white, so this card's good on turn six, just as if it's good on turn two. And then whenever you play a Desert, like, you do one to your opponent, and then you could use this ability to do, like, six to them or something if you have that much mana untapped but we'll take the sphinx uh i really like how this deck's turning out but blue red is always pretty bad so we have 14 creatures which is good that's usually a concern of blue red decks you have too many spells and not enough creatures um i don't like hypothesis i thought it was really cool and good but it's not the fact you have to discard um a non-land card for it to actually fire makes it just so much worse. And I'm, I might play four Prickly Pairs, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I think we'll take Phantom Interference. Not sure if we'll play it, though. Probably not. Highway Robbery would be okay, I think. Uh, I don't think we're getting any more playables. So this is 26 uh, Abraded Bluffs. Do we play that? Mm, probably not. We're pretty aggressive. We don't want a lot of tap lands. Another Thunder Salvo. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to play any of these. Uh, I think we don't need Phantom Interference. I think we're... A little bit too fast for that. Failed fording is okay. I guess it's pretty easy to cut a prickly pear, right? Since we have four. But no other three drops. I'm surprised we got a rare so late. Yeah, I think our removal's... Um, pretty good. Our mana base isn't perfect. We have double red, we have double blue, but we are just two colors, so it shouldn't be that bad. Um, how aggressive do we want to be? 
This format is pretty slow, but... So... Do we want to play three Thunder Salvos? Razzle Dazzler might be okay. The unblockable part makes it pretty cool. I think all these big time guys are really nice. Take the Fall is a nice combat trick. Our curve's a little low, but I, I, I still think we play 17 lands here. Uh, I haven't had much luck running 16 lands in this format. I think probably Duelist can go. Yeah, and I think failed forwarding. Just a bounce spell. We don't have a lot of deserts, so I think this is our deck. I don't think I want to play uh, Razzle Dazzler. Visage Bandit is not like OP in our deck, but if it hits any of these three, then it's pretty good. Or or the Hellspore Posse Boss. Razzle Dazzler or we have no like cantrips, like the repulse and the uh can't even think of another one. A oh, slick sequence. We do have one slick sequence. I think I was thinking of slick sequence, but I'm like, no, we have one of those. Oh we have take the fall too. Okay. Uh do we want to play Razzle Dazzler? Like instead of Peddler? I think we could do that. I think that evens out our mana base a bit more too, which I do like. I think that's advantageous. Eight mountains, seven islands. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess that's fine. There's going to be definitely, there's going to be times where we have like two red in our hand, like two red spells and only one mountain. We'll have like three islands and one mountain and we'll have two red, two drops. Like that's going to happen. And I'm going to be like, ah, should have played more mountains, but I think this is good. All right, this is cool. This is a... I say a slightly different blue red. When I think blue red, I I don't think exactly like this. I don't know. Maybe it's the terror of the peaks or the four prickly pears, but we'll see how it goes. Sean W forty two. Ah, all right. It's good. It's good. That's yeah, good. What am I complaining about? It's good. So we could do turn two, Resilient Roadrunner, or we could do turn three, pick Prickly Pear right now. Okay, so now we could do either or. Okay. So we could cast Prickly Pear next turn, or Hellspore, Hellspore Posse boss. They mill themselves. Okay, cool. Now we could do everything we want to do. Equal number of cards you've drawn this turn. Whenever you commit a crime, you could draw a card. So we have no way of committing crimes currently. So Prickly Pear is the move. No attacks, cool. Um, we could do Coyote here. Plot Duelist of the Mind. Sorry, Plot Coyote, play Duelist of the Mind. Probably just play the boss, right? Okay, let's attack. I think Roadrunner is like more threatening, so I think they'd rather trade with Prickly Pear. Maybe they'll just kill both here, right?
Take up the shields pretty good. All right, so they skipped a turn to stay at the same life total. I guess Bloodseeker is a 3-3 now, too. That's pretty good. All right, this town ain't big enough is really nice. Really nice draw. I'm going to play Coyote. This is protection from Coyotes. I can't pump it. Yeah, I'm going to play this. I'm going to pump one of the tokens. I'll make Roadrunner 3 power. I'll make Pass. I don't think I did this right. <laughs> it's okay. All right, we'll attack now with this town ain't big enough. Sorry, we'll attack now with this town ain't big enough open. I assume they'll have something here. Awesome. Play Archway, Bounce a Mountain. Bloodseeker. It's fine. Homestead. Okay. So we'll make Coyote a 3-3. Three, three. Nope, sorry, I'm confusing Coyote and Roadrunner here. We could just play Roadrunner here. And then like pump it up three times. And they'll take five. We'll see. Another great draw. Although it's pretty good with take the fall. All right, let's play Roadrunner. Okay, so now they have no good blocks. I think we got this game. All right. Still stuck on four lands. Well, when you play three colors and seemingly no fixing, these things happen. Okay. Uh, okay. All right, uh, this could be lethal. Uh, 
attack with everything here. If they block the coyote, we could play take the fall, and then that's seven damage. Shoot the sheriff. Okay. So they'll probably block the coyote. Now hopefully they don't have wrath here. Like they do go, if they go land wrath, I'm not, not going to be very happy. Okay, cool. We drew really well that game. Uh, that was fun. Sal Pingor. Sal Pinger. Brrr, we keep. Coyote's a good draw. Uh, should I play it? Mm, yeah, I think I'll play it. Nice. We'll keep that one. Now I'll plot it. Because we'll do, we could do five. Attack them for five next turn. Let's quickly pair. Crab. All right, we need another land. All right, net net, we're doing the same amount of damage. All right, so land would be really good here. Island would be best. We don't draw an island, we just like pump up the prickly pair, attack with both. Okay, they might have a counter spell, right? There's the rare counter spell, there's just the regular one. What did they discard last turn? Stop cold. So they could be looking for their fourth land, like us. It looks like they're going to pass again. Okay. Uh, okay, let's hope they don't have a second counter spell here. Honestly, I should just attack with everything, because right now, if we attack with everything, they'll take four. No, this is fine, because they could kill one of our creatures they attack with everything, if they have nothing. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. NBD. Duelist of the Mind, okay. So when they commit a crime, they loot. Alright, let's do it. Alright. Could just stack with everything here, that's probably good, right? Hellspore posse bosses uh, give themselves haste. Why do they block? They're gonna play take the fall? 
All right. I mean, that's fine. So they'll... Oh, it's... Yeah, it is loot. Okay. Draw, discard. But they don't get the draw from take the ball, so... All right, we're in pretty good shape. Double posse boss is pretty good. Mm-hmm. We can cast Derailment and Slick Sequence. Uh, slick Sequence does go face if we need. Uh, I think we just swing again. Could play Derailment on Duelist of the Mind first, just one less blocker. I think that's probably fair. Deserts do on Coyote. Okay, sure. Mm-hmm. So it looks like they're going to go to one this turn. Could kill Coyote, uh, Canyon Crab. I think that's worth it. Oh no, there are two. Okay, I counted wrong. Okay, cool, awesome. Two, two, two nice, uh, quick, good ones. Posse boss is really good, especially when you have two. Okay, match three, playing Sin. On the draw, a little bit slower than most of our hands, but we could. Uh, doesn't mean we can't draw something. Coyote or Roadrunner or something like that, or not. Varmint. Do I have any like enchantments or anything? I don't think I do. No, I don't. I think we're gonna kill that anyway though. What could they have that we might want to get them? I'll just kill it. Okay, so when this dies they get two treasures. It's a good one. Uh, man is a little awkward here. This Arid Archway is making things very awkward for me. Yeah, I think we play Prickly Pear here. If we do draw a mountain, we can play Posse Boss or Visage Bandit. Brute cost three now. Uh, we'll take two. We don't want to give them the treasures. Giant beaver. Okay, we could play another prickly pear here. We could plot visage bandit. Could play brute. Could play explosive derailment. A lot of options here. I think I think derailment seems good. Mm 
we're doing that now, we don't want uh, we don't want them to have mana up for that. Okay. Trash the town. Okay, cool. Putting counters on that's really good. What do we want to draw for that? We bounce it with this town ain't big enough? That doesn't seem great. God, they have one green open. I think that's a coincidence because they just, you know, they just drew two cards. Remember I told you there'd be a game where we'd have a bunch of islands and no mountains? Welcome. <laughs> I like the idea of Thunder Salvo and blocking next turn. So I think we'll just play blue. We'll plot this. And we'll pass. And then if we draw a mountain, we can go crazy with double health for posse boss next turn. So plan is to block and then play Thunder Salvo. Treasure tokens do come into play tapped, so. Pretty good. Where is the removal? Sorry, not where's the removal. Where's the mountain? Uh, double brute. It's not as good as double posse boss, but that seems it's going to be tough right now. If we had another mountain, we could play prickly pear and brute. I think double boots pretty good. Varmint, sure. Oof, that's rough. Well, actually, it's not rough. If they have anything else here, it's rough. Oh, they have it? Desert Stew or Snakeskin Veil? Vale? Oh my god, even worse. Alright. Yeah, we probably lost from that now. Pretty sick. All the red cards. Alright, we had some mana troubles this game. Don't think we can win now. Uh, I guess I'll triple block the beaver and then take three. But then Al Alchemist is going to be a problem next turn, but. Maybe this is better. Take zero. Kill two of their guys. I'm not sure. A little late to the party for sure. It's not over yet. Guess we only need to block like that, right? They're keeping our posse boss alive? Oh. Okay. We need like a slick, slick sequence here. Alright, we're still alive. It's 
Still alive, fighting the good fight. They've had a ton of value this game. We need a slick, slick sequence. Or a marauding sphinx. Ah! Yeah, I think that might be the nail in our coffin. They're gonna save Hydra. Oh, they're gonna play it, okay. Yep. That's a GG. Too much value. Mana screwed, and they had so much value. I think one or the other, we might be okay, but... What are you gonna do? Uh, feet G magic? Fight, feet, fight? I don't know. Golem. Alright, looks fine. Gotta draw a couple lands, but... Howdy! Crab. Mr. Crab. Alright, need a mountain here. Oh, sorry, we don't need a mountain, but any land. I guess we don't really want to draw the uh, the bounce land, but Arid Archway. Anything else would be just swell. Kept a two lander on the draw. Shouldn't really get punished for that. Okay. So did they are they stuck on two lands? Twins. Alright, what's cool will we play Coyote here and attack? And then we get th Thunder Salvo then. They block. If they... Oh, they didn't do it. Okay. If they, like, made their creature get plus two, minus two, then we could Thunder Salvo it. So they might have the counter spell here. Okay, fine. So both of us stuck on two lands did get a chance to play something. Okay, so we should be at fairly even odds here. We both missed uh, our second land drop. So I think I'm going to pump up um, Coyote with our Mercenary, whatever, or Rogue, whatever it is, what is it? Mercenary. And then attack with Coyote. They're the blue-white deck, not casting spells. Uh, Brute is good. Anybody home? I don't think I'm going to Thunder Salvo their crab. I'm just going to let it happen. I'm going to guess they have Holy Cow. Ah, just the better Holy Cow. This card's such a beating. Okay. Well, they're tapped out. All 
Alright, we'll play Brute. Cast Thunder Salvo on the Town Folk. We'll just swing out. They'll take six. We'll be at 14 all. This font can create a food or a blood token or a clue. And the second ability is not relevant. They got a food. Okay. We're at nine. I would love to be able to leave some mana up here for this town ain't big enough on the Sphinx. Just gonna swing out again. They should take five, they go to nine. Another food token? Sure. Go to four. Okay. So we could bounce their Sphinx, but they can just play it again. But when they play it again, we could Thunder Salvo. Unless they play it again this turn. So I think we want to cast This Town Ain't Big Enough um, on our turn. So we'll have Thunder Salvo mana open. I think that's the play, because if they just play it here, we're going to lose. Oh, but we can't cast it on our turn, because they won't be able to, they won't have a spell. So they should play it right now. If they play it right now, we lose. But we got to do what we got to do. They didn't play it. Okay, awesome. That's great. I think we can win now. Woo! Uh, they messed up. They messed up. They messed up. All right, so they have a lot of food and some clues. Play Visage Bandit next turn as the Coyote. So we'll be attacking for 10. What a sicko. What a sicko. All right, that was pretty good. <laughs> Uh, alright, so we're not going to deal excess damage. But they're going to take five, but then they're going to gain six. So they're going to end up going to four here. Unless they draw a card. In which case, they'll go to one. Or they kill our coyote. Which they could do. They don't. Okay. Yeah, it would have been smarter for them to actually kill our coyote. Because we are tapped out, right? Interesting. Okay. I guess I punted.
I punted. Didn't didn't see that coming. Forgot how low my life total was. Yeah, I should have held the outlaw back. We're still dead to a removal spell, but uh, yeah, we made a we made a mistake. Damn, what a game! All right, two two. I hope we don't finish two three with this deck. We still never. We haven't even seen Terror at the Peaks. Seen Prickly Pear though. That was a fun last game. I, I definitely, I clearly I punted, but that crab prevented a lot of damage, huh? Reckless Lackey. All right, they're an aggro deck. Playing a mountain first, so it's not obvious we have take the fall. Wowie, zowie. Very nice. No, we're going to be at 11. We're going to be at 10. They have another coyote? Wow, they should have cast that, I think. God, I cannot count. We are at 11. Alright, are they ready for triple prickly pear? They'll probably put that on the lackey. The lackey's a 2-3 first strike menace trample. But next turn we have Prickly Pear and Take the Fall. Uh, this is whenever a player casts a non-creature spell. Wow. I mean, this has got to be their nut hand, right? I don't, I don't think we're out of it yet. This lizard makes things a little bit harder for sure. Take the fall, will ping us for one. Can they just stop and take a turn off from blowing us out, maybe? The lizard is definitely not worth killing here, right? We're going to take one. We might even take another point of damage next turn. Yep, we take one. It's like insane. Like <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Really frustrating. This lizard just gonna keep pinging me. Okay, so we're gonna bounce Lackey. What the fuck, guys? What the fuck? <laughs> like, unbelievable. You know, you get so much saltier when you have two losses because you know your run's going to end. You know? If, if this was like game one, I'd be like, wow, they got really lucky.
And of course they, they draw like the perfect thing. What a joke. What a joke, guys. I feel like if they didn't have any one of those cards, just like take any, replace anyone with land and we're in fine shape that game. Oh my god, unbelievable. Alright, so blue-red still sucks, guys. Um, should just stick to Sultai. I don't know, man. Didn't see my dragon. Salty! Uh, didn't see Marauding Sphinx. Posse boss is really good. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Catch you in the next one.